Linda Marshall, ARPS, how does that sound? It sounds marvellous actually, yes. And you've got a wonderful panel here behind you. Um, what gave you the inspiration for coastal scenes? I started shooting at the beach, taking some portraits, and uh, my remembering Colin Tropool's panel that he showed us at my camera club, I thought, ah, small people, beach scenes. I s sorted out an advisory day and took it on from there. Had some great advice. Now, this wasn't an afternoon on the beach, was it? It was all over the place and took you a long time. Yes, I think it was about 15 months from um, first image to the last one. And where are these places that we're looking at? They're Northumberland, the beaches in Northumberland, uh, Dorset near Lyme Regis, and ones in Botany Bay on Australia where I used to live. That's quite a mix. Yes. Yeah. How did you achieve such consistency of tone and style? We had a presentation about the Nick software at my club and I, th I remembered that I really loved monochrome images um, and so I started to work on that and I went to a style which was rather too contrasty and Steve Smith told me that when I went to an advisory day and uh, he, he said get the tones back in and make sure that you don't have too many dogs. <laughs> so I had to get rid of a few with too many dogs in, you know. And of course, and we see this a lot, mm -hmm. you had to leave out one of your favourite images, didn't you? I did. Well, you get emotionally attached to some images and you want to have them there, right in the middle, and they just don't make sense. They ruin the cohesion. So I had to put that one aside. And when I went to an advisory day in April, um, two I'd had in very fixed positions since the panel started to develop. Um, after Sue Brown had said some very, um, very amazing comments about it, she stood in the aisle and said, hmm, just a minute, went and picked two alts, moved two from their positions they'd been in almost since day one, and said, how's that? And I said, ah, much better, thank you. <laughs> and that's how it stayed. They were very clear. If we say it's okay, don't fiddle with it. So is that one of your tips then? Don't fiddle once you've oh, got yes. it. Oh yes. If if they say don't touch it, leave it alone. Just leave it alone because they know what they're talking about. They've seen hundreds of them. But you had a scary moment at one point, didn't you? I did. Yes. Um, the first um, fellow to stand up said, "I don't like this panel." Paused, and then said, "I love it," which <laughs> caused mirth in the room and my heart to be pounding rather too much <laughs> but it was it was great so what are your tips then advice for others you say don't fiddle with it once you've got it straight mm. what else would you say as advice well I went and observed assessments I went to advisory days and I listened to what was I was told I, I, I get very frustrated when you hear an expert tell somebody something and they say oh yes but I don't agree with you it seems completely silly when experience is there for you that you don't take their advice. So I always did what I was advised to do at an advisory date, even if at times it made me feel like chucking my toys out the pram. Um, it, it paid off. What's the most important thing about compiling a panel like this? You need to have a subject that you really are passionate about, that you really like, and you like being there, you like being in that moment, you like what you see and you like how it makes you feel. And presumably your best tip would be never give up. Absolutely, never give up. Linda Marshall, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.